New at five, we are getting a look at newly released body camera video that Alpharetta's police chief says clears two of his officers of involvement in an assault. But it does show what led to the arrest and firing of a Fulton County corrections officer for allegedly assaulting a woman. Bobeth Yates is live for us in Alpharetta, where Bobeth, just a few hours ago, you spoke with the city's police chief at a press conference, right? That's exactly right. And in that press conference, not only did we learn that the Alpharetta police officers involved in this incident were cleared of wrongdoing, but for the first time, we saw the video and got details of what led to that Fulton County Sheriff deputies or Sheriff Corrections officers arrest. There was an obvious concern regarding what was seen on video. And Take a look at the video Alpharetta Police Chief John Robinson is referring to. Hold your face before you lose your breath. It shows Fulton County Sheriff Corrections Officer Monique Clark with their hands wrapped around a detainee's neck. On June 5th, that person eventually passes out and falls to the ground. I think our officers uh, reacted quite, uh, quite well, honestly, and uh, they, they ensured, number one, that we, we, our department, our agency, those officers knew that she needed immediate care, and so they took action quickly to get an ambulance on the way to get her taken care of. According to officials, that detainee came two seconds later, and Robinson says they immediately launched an internal investigation that has now cleared the Alpharetta officers of wrongdoing. He says prior to that, he also contacted Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt about his deputy's actions. Alpharetta police supervisors then notified Alpharetta command staff and myself. Uh, and then I immediately notified Sheriff Labatt, and to his credit, uh, he acted quickly to contact his internal affairs team and get them started on investigating the matter uh, immediately. And on June 12, 31 year old Clark was fired from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. Clark was arrested and has been charged with one count of aggravated assault, one count of violating an oath of a public officer, and one misdemeanor count of reckless conduct. He sends a message that this is uh, a, a serious, potentially a serious incident that has to be um, uh, obviously adjudicated in a proper manner. There is a process, uh, there is uh, innocent until found guilty. Now, when uh, Clark was arrested, uh, Sheriff Labatt sent a statement saying that the actions of that corrections officer was indefensible and does not reflect the actions that they are their mission that the sheriff office currently is trying to present. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, that was hard to watch, Boba. Thank you.